Hello everyone, this is Diane back again to show you a couple more books that I made for myself. Um, I'll just go through some of the packs of paper that I used um, and the rest of it is just a piece here and a piece there of different collections but I used the DCWV a type of art stack and it's all about lettering and printing and things like that and I used quite a few pages from the Basic Gray Fact pack and <clears throat> a little bit of the Lost and Found. This is the the thin one-sided paper that comes in 180 sheets. It's got more than one collection in it so it's not the cardstock, it's the thin pe pieces that I use on to wrap up my covers with. I use quite a bit of the Prima Ledger paper pad. These are cardstock but they are one-sided. They're nice papers though. And I use a little bit of this also thin one-sided paper, Colorbach um, Vintage Treasures. I got that at Walmart. So these are the two books that I made. <clears throat> this book I want to use as a journal. So basically I'll, I'll be writing in it as a journal but I will also be probably including snippets of things that I want to save. But the cover is um, made from an old book from the library that I got for a dollar and I covered it with, um, a, I think it's a DCWV. It's a stack I've had for a long time and I only have a few pieces left and it's uh, something about collage, I think. So um, here's one of the printery papers in here. They're pretty plain. I haven't done a lot of pockets and tags in it, anything like that, because like I said, this one's just going to be a journal. This is the basic gray, and I stamped on both of these pages. I like this um, diagonal stripe. Putting it together is pretty, pretty neat. Um, the basic gray again. I like the basic gray because it's an, it feels nice and it's two-sided. This is a piece from an old Stampin' Up! collection. This is from the basic gray and it has this design right on the paper. It looks like it's all collaged. The Prima Printery Ledger paper, or not printery, but ledger. I used my Hampton Arts Wizard of Oz Dorothy stamp. Also with It's Never Too Late to Find Out Who You Want to Be. I think that's from Tim Holtz. This map is from the Daily Junk line. And also the, I like the pink, oops, sorry. I'm not lining this up right. The pink graph paper I really like. This came in just one of those little um, tablets you can get at most of the craft stores now. They're this size and they come with all different sheets. I don't know what line it was. I don't remember. <clears throat> so like I said, they're just pretty plain. I used a lot of ledger papers and light colored papers so that I can journal. Um, this was a shaped page, so I... Um, made a pocket on the bottom of it to cover up where it had the brand written on it and stamped on the white spaces but it's got graphs so I can write on there and then the darker pages that I can't write on I can tape things to or even uh, adhere paper to so I can write on it just depending on what the day was like when I get to that page I did a little bit of uh, washi tape there, the smash tape some more of the Wizard of Oz stamps it says there's no place like home And I um, doubled this one up and made a pocket. And this one had white on both sides, so I um, just did a lot of stamps. Pulled out all of my images of pens and typewriters and inks and things like that. And this is from the a type of art stamp or stack has a bunch of numbers over here and this looks like a page taken out of Tom Sawyer. Chapter 1. The back is blank and I stamped some of my sewing themed stamps. Another one of those cards that came out of a little pad. And this is an old stamp. I've had it for a long time. We do not remember days, we remember moments. Cesar Pavez and a flower basket stamp at the bottom. I like this little stamp set that I got. Has a little girl too. Blessings brighten when we count them. Stamp up there.
there. I think that's a Stampin' Up! stamp. This is from the same collage stamp or pack that this paper came in. This is a Stampin' Up! This is an old, old stamp. Things to do. More of the basic gray. I really like this. Um, it's called, was it Fact or Fiction? They had a pad called Fact and one called Fiction. This one was Fact. And this looks like notebook paper, stripes on the back. And this, they had quite a few of the pages that look like binding of a book, the spine of a book. And this is from Emma's, Emma Jane's dress shop. Emma's shop, I guess it's line of the paper by Crate Paper. And that's it for this book. So this is going to be my journal. I'm almost ready to start writing in it. And then this one is going to be more like a smash book style uh, book. So I didn't also include a lot of pockets and tags in this one. I can add those as I go. But this has a collaged front. The book that I used was also a library book and it was too big for me to wrap a whole sheet around so I had to um, just collage things and it has a lot of pieces of the daily junk in here. I liked that the book had this um, tag in there from the library and it's dated 1951 so I left that and just put paper around it and put washi tape around that to frame it so I like the way that looks. And then we have some more of the basic gray paper and I made a pocket on that page. I stitched that on. This is part of, that's all one paper. He just did a really neat job with this paper line from paper, um, basic gray. Looks like it's stapled on there. This is also from the basic gray. Looks like a tablet paper writing pad with all these things collaged on. And this is, I don't remember the line, but it's just one of the six by six papers that I stitched on there as a pocket. Basic gray, the daily junk. That's by Pink Plate Paisley. I put that in because it has like a lined paper there you can write on. This is also daily junk. Basic gray, basic gray. And I made a pocket out of this. I think that's a bow bunny page, six by six page. And um, Webster's pages. I just stuck that in there. This is an old scrapbook paper I've had for years. <clears throat> that's from DCWV, or maybe it's Recollections. Um, that line that ha looks like men's tailoring. I forgot what it's called. There's another one of those pages that looks like a book spine. It has that on the other side. There's another book spine. And another Webster's page, I believe. This is Bow Bunny. Like I said, I just had a variety of papers that I liked, and I just put them all in this book, in these two books. This is Webster's pages. This was um, from a DCWV or Recollections pack. These two pages were, and I they're white on the other side, so I glued them together. And this was a six by six paper that I just cut it in half and stitched it on there to form this diagonal pocket. This was um, one of the pages that has one, it's white on one side, so I put it in my printer and printed off this ledger paper on it and then made a pocket at the bottom. This is from the Pink Paisley um, Daily Junk. Another page from the Daily Junk. I love that paper line. And that's the end. So these are my journal and my smash book. 
that I intend to get into very soon and start using them. I hope you like them. Leave a comment, and I'll be back with some more books pretty soon. Thank you.